So we go walk into the uh, TV studio and there's a long hallway to go by the dressing rooms. And at one point I'm walking with Larry and I'm, you know, I'm only this tall and out from one of the rooms comes Ricky Cortez. Oh. And he was just bigger, he looked like a monster to yeah. me. Yeah. And I was so scared because Ricky and uh, Larry Shane, they were like uh, heated, Beauty. you know, yeah. you know uh, rivals at that point. And I thought a fight was gonna break out right <laughs> in that hallway. Oh, yeah. But, you know, Ricky saw me and, you know, maybe Larry, you know, gave him a nod or something like that. Ricky, you know, backtrack into the room and all was safe. But then uh, I started managing for George Cannon Superstars of Wrestling. And at one point he had me um, with Ricky Cortez. So I was managing, you know, Ricky the Crusher Cortez on TV and, you know, yeah. building him up and talking yeah. him up and stuff. And at the time, I had that second job at Michigan Bell. Uh -huh. So at that time, uh, I worked my way up to uh, installation and stuff and, you know, uh, business installation. So they gave me all the Chrysler plants north of 8 Mile. So I was taking care of, you know, this large corporation you know all their installations and phones and you know any kind of communication they had i was taking care of mm -hmm. so this one day i get a work order and it's to install a phone in a tool crib and it's like okay i go to my coordinator and ask you know okay where is this tool crib in this giant plant and he said like you know g16 you know on the post Heading for the crib. Yes. Yeah. So I go to G16 and I go to this crib and the door is locked. So I knock on the door and this, you know, opens up the door. And lo and behold, who's in the tool crib but Ricky <laughs> Crusher Cortez. What are you doing here, Mr. Yeah. And, and he's looking at me because I managed him, yeah. at, you know, at that point. And he's like, yeah. what are you doing here? So it's like, you know, both of us who had second jobs yeah. meet on the job so that was pretty that was pretty wild ricky never ventured all that far from detroit did he no uh, yeah. i mean we did canada uh montreal you know we did a couple shots up in montreal yeah. i know back in the late 50s he was down in texas for a while was he yeah. because he did he was a main eventer yep. right he, he wrestled uh, who bruiser hercules romero some of the people like that, he may have vented. And he may have vented later in his career in Indianapolis for Bruiser. And he appeared on Channel 9, Big Time Wrestling was on Channel 9 from Windsor at that time with the one and only Lord Layton as the commentator. And I've got a Ricky Cortez story. Uh, Ricky, I think, was introduced from Mexico City. And, and one of the things that we commentators like to do every now and then was when a wrestler was from a you know, foreign country of, of sorts, we would ask them to speak to their fans in the native language. Mm -hmm. So here comes Ricky Cortez and he comes out because they always did interviews right after the matches. Right. And Leighton gets him down there and says, uh, Ricky, how about a few words of Spanish for your <laughs> friends from, from Mexico? And Ricky said, well, uh, Lord, I, I'm sorry to be honest with you, I don't speak any Spanish. <laughs>